Hi guys, I'm really excited because I'm at Luton Airport and I'm going to Riga. Sorry for the crazy background noise. So I think I'm just going to go get some tea. I need to charge my phone in the other 2%. None of the problems here work. I'm just going to go get some tea. I'm hungry. It's for you. So, yeah. Lada Sudan! Baklajan! Lada Sudan! Баклажан! Лоба в ухо в хлам, да сидит низко Корпус по асфальту высекая искры Копы на хвосте, мы в зоне риска Я вообще не местный, да и без прописки Ну а чё, красавчик, меня любит киски 101 роза, пополняю списки О, какая же, какие си, слышь? Дай-ка номерок быстро Нормальный парень ест кебаб, а не суши От души, братуха, душевно в душу Нормальный парень ловит кайф, когда бьет грушу От души, братуха, прилетает в душу Городская жизнь, вокруг одни заборы а я родился там, где одни просторы So it's like 3 in the morning and I've just arrived in Lithuania because my flight is actually not going to Latvia, Riga So now I have to go and get coach and travel for 3 hours to Riga which is just a joke, it's an absolute disgrace So I'm going to ride to this plane I'm literally so tired So I've just arrived in Riga, the airport I'm just in the toilet now. I'm so tired. Look at my face. Look at my hair. We're gonna show you what to do in Riga. Although I haven't slept for 12 hours. I've been traveling for 12 hours before the always air, which I'm gonna complain about. So I finally arrived in Riga and I'm super happy. We're just gonna take the taxi home. Oh, there's Olga, my best friend. And we are gonna have a nap and then go to see old Riga. So after finally having a nap and feeling well rested and refreshed, it was time to go into Old Riga. So the history behind Old Riga is that before they built up all the new developments, a lot of the land was just greenery and just um, like parks. So they developed a lot of houses and this is Old Riga because this is the town that remains the same and has been here for like, hundreds and hundreds of years. And this bar that we actually walked into is a representation of um, Riga back in the olden days. And it's really, really cool. I really wanted to try it, but we didn't have time. And I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> we then went to this very cool hotel, which I will put the link in the description because I cannot pronounce it. But it had like a rooftop terrace and it was a really cool place just to get some tea. And we ended up taking those pictures because that's what we like to do. So we ended up walking a little bit more around Riga because when I go on holiday, I like to get the feel of the place. I like to meet different people. I like to get to know the culture. There was a lot of novelty souvenirs. I just wanted to get a feel of the place. Um, and then I got bored and decided it was time to go and get some wine and eat. So we arrived at this beautiful shopping mall to go and get something to eat. And if you take the lift to the top floor, you will get to Terrace Riga, which is like the UK equivalent of Radio Rooftop Bar. It's on a rooftop and you can smoke shisha, drink cocktails. It's literally amazing and you see the whole views of Riga. The view was absolutely amazing. This city is so beautiful. The only thing I don't like is the flies. Like flies will literally come and attack your life. They will attack your food and they won't care. So it started to rain, but we hadn't finished drinking. So we decided to head downstairs for some more cocktails. So we ended up at this place called Gambi City, which does amazing cocktails, but they also do sushi. And what I actually love about Riga is sushi is so reasonably priced and it is so good. I forgot to actually video the food, so check out my Instagram and you will see the food that I ate. So we actually had to leave in a rush because we was running late and we was actually going for a concert in Studio 69, which is a very large club in Riga and we was going to see the artist Mott, who is actually very handsome. So the videos you're going to see are taken from my Snapchat because I didn't want to take my camera and get it damaged, um, but it was such a fun time. So we are in the town centre because we are going to a party. It 
was so lit. I've never had so much fun in another country, like clubbing. I had the best time of my life. I was the only black girl there. I think I was the only black person there actually entirely, but I had so much fun. Riga is lit, like I can't explain. It's just so lit. And I don't even know if I'm saying it correctly, but Mott, his music is sick. Like his music is amazing and he's so handsome. I have like the biggest crush on him. But anyway, like the concert was really, really good. The only thing I will say is Latvian slash Russian Latvian girls are literally haters. They will stare you out. They will look you up and down and make you feel so uncomfortable. They literally just hate on you. It's just a joke. So I literally woke up with the worst hangover, but I guess that's a sign of a good night. And Russians, they just actually don't stop. So it was time to go to the beach and drink some more wine by the beach. So I've just arrived at Legend Beach, um, the weather is absolutely beautiful, there's a swimming pool behind me, I'm just sunbathing and um, I'm going to show you the views, it's just a very nice time. So we left Legend Beach and we actually ended up going to another beach just to see the views and then we ended up going to Aqualuna which I absolutely loved like it is the best place to be like I want to go there right now drinks are nice it's just such a nice atmosphere oh my god I've never seen so many hot men in one room I just need to contain myself because these Russian men literally were in love with me but Aqualuna, if you're going to Riga and you don't go to Aqualuna, what the hell are you doing? So it's like an outside and inside bar. Um, and it will probably be the equivalent to something like Novikov or Sexy Fish, that type of lounge bar. Aqualuna is literally amaze balls. Like, I loved it. So my trip to Riga had come to an end, which I was really sad about because... I really miss my friend in London, her family was so inviting, her mum especially was so kind and it was just sad to leave, I just I really didn't want to go but back in London and I really enjoyed myself. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching my vlog to the beautiful Riga and yes it was true I was the only black girl in the village but it's fine and please do not forget to subscribe to my other social media platforms and why not click on this link right now to watch my previous video and remember guys always stay bougie